Hello, uh, I am Dr. Rajurshi Datta, Consultant, Internal Medicine, attached to Parkview Hospital Salt Lake and other places. Today I am going to talk about something which is very important in the current scenario, that is post-COVID complications. Uh, as we all are aware of, COVID has been the major health problem affecting not only us here in Kolkata or Salt Lake, but everyone all over the world. Now, what are post-COVID complications? Once a patient who has suffered from COVID, he or she gets well and is uh, tested negative and apparently recovered from COVID, they might develop some complications which hamper day-to-day -day life as a result of COVID and those a wide variety of complications are termed as post-COVID complications. Now the whole COVID thing, this disease is a new disease and we don't have a lot of data, a lot of evidence and a lot of guidelines regarding this and everything changes from month to month because we come across new evidence and new data and we form our policies according to that. Uh, so for post-COVID complications also, this has been uh, in the news and in our knowledge recently because first we have had, had to have a few number of COVID cases, a lot of COVID people getting well and then developing complications to bring it to our notice and to recognize it as an entity. It's not necessary that only people who have had very severe COVID, who have been in hospital for a long time, who have developed a lot of complications during COVID, maybe put on ventilator, needed very expensive drugs, a lot of lung changes and when they recovered that only these kind of patients will get complications. No, anyone with COVID, particularly the people at risk are people who are elderly above the age of 50 or 60 and people with <coughs> sorry, some sort of comorbidities, that is any underlying disease, they are more prone to develop these post-COVID complications. Even if they have had a very mild disease, even if they had stayed at home, even if they had got well without any medications to us to talk of. Now what we have seen among a lot of things is that there are a few conditions, complications that happen to a large number of people and these have been listed as the prominent post-COVID complications. As of now, we doctors, we have a, a rule of thumb that COVID can affect any, I mean just about any organ of the body and any organ of the body can develop these complications. Uh, but the ones that we see more commonly, ones that affect more people and the ones that can have serious complications are the ones we will be discussing. So most commonly what we see in patients who have developed COVID but still suffer from some of the complaints are fatigue. This is very common. Most people complain of a fatigue, a very uh, feeling of weakness, uh, lethargy for weeks to months following recovery from COVID, shortness of breath a dry cough that persists that doesn't go, joint pains, headaches, chest pain, palpitations that is feeling of a very rapid heartbeat or that you can feel your heart beating, loss of taste can linger, taste and some amount of loss of smell can linger on even after recovery of COVID, memory loss and concentration, memory loss is uh, difficult to uh, judge but uh, loss of concentration particularly is quite common and any rash, darkening of the skin and hair loss have also been seen. I have got one question, I'll come back to that, uh, that whether two or three times of COVID positive uh, one after the other, whether they have more chances of developing complications. The reason that most people get tested positive a lot of times is because the virus fragments remain in the body. Anyone who has had COVID can theoretically test positive for up to 50 days. That has got nothing to do with either the intensity of the disease or the chance of developing comorbidities. 
developing complications during the disease and post covid complications mostly depend on the age of the patient and patient's general health whether he or she has any uh, related comorbidities or multiple of them or none it is not related to as far as we know as of now to whether the patient tests positive for maybe unexpected or more than 2 3 weeks from the initial test that happens mostly because the viral fragments remain in the body and this these test positive for the test now of all the complications that i have listed the most important and the most life threatening ones are shortness of breath and palpitations others cause a hampered in day to day life others can definitely decrease the quality of life others can be nagging problem like fatigue a dry cough uh, diarrhea can be a problem in the susceptible uh, loss of taste memory all these can bother you but the most serious ones are shortness of breath and palpitations because covid can affect the two vital organs lungs and heart now if you have had a shortness of breath that is you face real difficulty in climbing stairs or in uh, doing normal day to day activity that you were able to do before but after covid you are finding it difficult to do or if you have a pulse oximeter at home and you see that even after you have recovered from covid weeks to months there is the saturation is still low less than 95% in a person who does not have or did not have any lung disease beforehand then there is a good chance that you are developing a post covid complication in the lungs which is risky and for that the doctor will guide you regarding whether you need a ct chest or any other imaging to see for lung fibrosis there are medicines that have come up newer medicines for treating the fibrosis in covid and some have been quite effective it takes time particularly elderly we have seen patients who have had who took uh, they needed time to get over but uh, mostly if they have been diagnosed and if they have been uh, initiated on the treatment for lung fibrosis a lot of them have benefited similarly for the heart uh, covid many viral infections and covid amongst them they cause uh, arrhythmia of the heart that is the rhythm of the heart that gets altered it can be fast it can be slow even in dengue we have seen patients whose heart rates become very slow during covid and years after that and i uh, sorry in dengue uh, in covid also it can happen you can have a very rapid heartbeat you can have a feeling of uh, very uncomfortable heartbeats or the heart rate might go down much slower than what it was before and if you are having any of that again you should visit a doctor the preliminary test would be an ecg <coughs> that shows uh, the actual rhythm and if there is any problem in the rhythm then uh, uh, that needs to be looked into whether that needs any intervention or whether that can wait or whether other things need to be looked into that your doctor will be able to guide you these were the two most complicated important things and uh, regarding diarrhea fatigue dry cough if these are bothering you again you need to visit a doctor it's best i would suggest to not go for over the counter medications for any post covid complications if you had had covid in the last two months and you develop any sort of which you might even think are simple problems like say a diarrhea or say a cough uh, or mild body ache joint pain it's better not to go in for over the counter medications because we don't know what exactly which other parts of the body are susceptible and the over the counter medications might actually harm you instead of helping you so if you had had covid and it's like two or three months after that you develop any of these complications that we have listed it's best it's recommended that you visit a doctor and let him or her guide you out regarding what's there to do pigmentation or dark rash has been a problem in many covid patients uh, it is still very early we do not know how long this rash lasts because this is in people who have developed it it has been there it uh, persists so far uh, it does not seem to have any systemic or that is anything wrong with the body inside the body that causes the rash but uh, since this is a new disease mostly we have been treating this symptomatically the pigmentation as of now as of what we know does not indicate towards any other severe you know uh, 
malformation or mal malformation or complications within the body joint pains uh, loss of taste loss of smell these are again treated symptomatically and uh, for the loss of taste and smell there is actually very little you can do except wait this usually comes back uh, very very rarely persists for more than say 4 to 6 weeks within 6 weeks almost all patients uh, report a recovery of the taste and smell function if you had have diarrhea and if you are susceptible to fluid loss suppose uh, extremes of age or whatever you take medication some people take a lot of medications or some people are due to their conditions like heart or kidney disease they cannot by themselves drink a lot of water and drink a lot of fluids which is contraindicated for them if they develop a diarrhea they should definitely visit a doctor to get optimally treated for someone who is absolutely fit young and has no comorbidities if you develop a diarrhea post covid you can try out drinking lots of fluids oral rehydrating salts or ORS and wait a few days to see if it subsides it usually subsides if it does not visit a doctor however for the conditions that we have mentioned if they develop diarrhea they should definitely visit a doctor as soon as possible same for the cough lot of people have a cough a dry cough which doesn't you know bring up any sputum and it stays it's a uh, not serious as such but it hampers day to day life it's a bother when you are talking when you are going out when you are doing some activity this cough can happen any time of the day and uh, again better to avoid over the counter cough syrups and better to you know take more symptomatic simple stuff like drinking warm water steam inhalation and then uh, if there is uh, some persisting then go to a doctor the disease obviously for any patient who has had a background lung condition it's more risky and that patient is much more prone to develop post covid complications like fibrosis of lungs than someone who doesn't the vaccine on the other hand should be preferentially be given when available to a patient with a lung disease because they need to be protected much more than someone who does not have it so uh, regarding we have had a talk about the complications and uh, we have listed the complications and I have answered a few questions we will be waiting for a few questions in the meantime I would like to remind people that uh, we are having a surge of covid again in some states as I have mentioned not yet in West Bengal or Kolkata but we all need to be very careful of late a lot of people have become very lax and uh, casual in their attitude the most important thing i believe and as a physician who has been treating patients from day one uh, without a break i would say the most important thing the most important thing is uh, wearing a mask properly if you have a mask on and if someone within six feet of you who comes within six feet of you have a mask on both of you then it's almost impossible that anyone would get covid or spread covid so uh, these are the complications and if at anyone had come anyone uh, in <coughs> here feels that they have or anyone they know are suffering from the post covid complications which i have mentioned i am available here at parview hospital opd uh, you can come meet me you can meet any doctor you want in your locality if you want but if you are old if you are very young extremes of age and if you have had any sick comorbidities and particularly if you have had the two problems which I am more concerned about that is shortness of breath and palpitations then definitely you can you have to visit a doctor and you know take his or her advice okay so yes uh, I think I have said what is needed and I have given you the relevant information which might be helpful to you and <coughs> might be more important in the coming days so be careful wear your mask if possible maintain social distancing even if you do not man maintain social distancing the mask is a must and stay careful visit a doctor if you have any of these complications thank you